So let's get straight to it. The coordinates have been uploaded into your phone. Give me a call when you're in position. Yes, we get experience points for doing stuff. Yeah. All right, how much do we have? All right, let's see if we can buy something. Now, what do we want to... Yeah, that's something we definitely want to buy. Reduce damage. I had this thing maxed out the last time I played. Um. Oh, yes. Gigawatt blades. No, we don't have enough. Um... All right, we'll take that. Next thing you want to get is the Gigawatt Blades. Those things are awesome. Okay. So, as you can see, we got a few story missions we got to do. So, we're going to go ahead and do the one that's closest, which looks like that one, I think. Oh, damn it, I forgot you can't do the floating power gun. I'm, so st I'm sorry, guys. I just finished Infamous 2. Yes, my friend let me borrow it like a week ago. I'm so used to using like the floating power that uh, I just keep pressing the R1 button. I'm sorry guys. Please forgive me and my stupidity. It happens a lot, I know. So last time I kind of cut out going to the actual story mission, but I'm not going to do that anymore because... Ooh, Blast Shard. Because if I do... I don't know, it kind of gets rid of a lot of the game. I mean, it's an open world game. The things that happen in this game when going through missions are just awesome, so... Alright! Story mission. All right, now what? I'm picking up some weird interference from a rooftop not far from you. Need to find out its origin and purpose. So what am I looking for? Not really sure. Probably a transmitter of some type. Call me when you get over there. Will do. Let's go. Oh man. I swear, when I play this game, it reminds me a lot of Spider-Man 2. Open world, awesome athletic abilities. I swear, this game is like Spider-Man 2 with electric powers. That's a good thing, by the way. Found it. Looks like a portable audio drive is attached to this satellite dish. See if you can listen to it with your phone. Dead drop. Sounds like a bunch of garbage. It's an encrypted message, but I can't break it. Look around and see if you can find another one. So anyways, those are dead drops. So you see, in this game, there is a lot of replay value because there are like over 200 blast shards to collect and over 50 dead drops to collect. So there is a, there is a lot to this game. There's a lot of collecting you can do, even after you're done the game. I mean, I haven't even collected all the stuff yet, and I finished this game quite a long time ago. So anyways, this mission introduces us to dead drops, we're gonna go find some. And no, you don't need to collect the dead drops or the blast shards, but dead drops do um, reveal more of the story for you, and blast shards definitely do help you in the long run, so you should collect them. Besides, you can finish the game 100%. I'm getting shot at, I don't know why. I'm gonna keep moving this way. God damn it, so every time we press L3, it shows us our nearest electrical outlets and it shows a little gray outline that points us in the right direction. So I am getting shot at for some reason! And I'm almost gonna die! No, don't stay in the open, you freaking idiot! Stop shooting at me! Go away! No one likes you! I died! I'm sorry. Oh, Seems I'm low on like battery, am I? It's Hold on, guys. Okay. I totally did not just die last time. That was a figment of your imagination. I did not die. You guys were just imagining me die, because you guys all want to see me die. Because you guys are all scumbags. I'm joking, for those of you who think I'm actually serious. You must accept my sense of sarcasm. Even though it's a very bad sense of sarcasm. Which way is the dead drop? Death that way. We're getting shot at. You know what? There's so many reapers and enemies in this game that are on buildings. I don't even... I don't even know how they get on top of these buildings. Like, I can understand me. I can climb walls, but... I don't know how these reapers get on top of these buildings. Like, I don't know if they... 
Like, I, I, I don't know. Who knows? Maybe they're like Spider-Man for all we know. Every Reaper lives a secret life as a Spider-Man. And we're just... I don't know. I'm confusing myself. Okay, I, sh I should stop doing that. I should stop thinking. Ooh, Blast Yard. Taking that. Wait, where was the dead drop headed? This way? Okay. Oh god! Ah! Uh, no! No, no, no! Off a cliff! It's not a cliff, that's a building. Oh, uh, where's the dead drop at? Uh, no, where is it? Yeah, it's supposed to be up here. It is right... Wait, no, what the hell? Huh. I don't get it. Where'd it go? It's up here. I'm blind. More garbled garbage. You hear that? Same thing as before. I'm running the signals through a decryption program on this end. I've almost cracked it, but I need another sample. Look around for more of those files. Will do. Let's go this way. Yoink. Hey, is that a Reaper? It is. Okay, there's a bunch of Reapers. And uh, what's it looking at? I don't... Oh, you know what's funny? I was just shooting this Reaper and then the cutscene happened. It's like, the Reaper totally forgot I was there. Damn it, right shield Reapers. This would have been so much more easier if I had some grenades. But I don't have any grenades. And I'm gonna die soon. God damn it, stop shooting me. I'm screaming. I need electricity, thank you for the electricity! Let's go this way! Oh god, this game is so much harder when you have like, no abilities. Hey, that guy fell off, ha ha ha. If I grenades or some sort of explosive, I could totally kill them a lot more- Oh, he's not dead yet! Okay. Die, will you- will you freaking die? Will you- will you fall off a building? Thank you. Thank you for falling off a building. You made my life so much easier. Will you fall off a building? Thank you for almost falling off a building. Uh, wait, since when were the Reapers up there? Now I'm really confused. I thought they were on the other building. Alright, whatever. I'll get rid of them. Can I do a headshot? No, I missed my headshot. Alright, well, he fell down a building too. There's one more guy up here, is there? No, there isn't, okay. Which way was the dead drop? It was this way, alright. I swear there's a guy on top of that building. At least I'm pretty sure. Eh. Jump. What, what, what the? Why is there a por- Why is there a porta potty up here? I don't know. Okay, I'm not gonna question the porta potty. That's the last one. Give me a second. All right, that should do it. I'm uploading a decrypting algorithm into your phone. It should let you listen to the messages. Big words. I couldn't stop Kessler from detonating the ray sphere. Damn thing took out five or six square blocks, killed God knows how many. Found the ray sphere in the blast crater next to some kid. Don't know if he was dead or not. I didn't have time to check. Need. I'm gonna try and hole up somewhere. If anyone is even listening to these things. I need immediate extraction. Please, you've got to get me out of here before Kessler finds me. Do you understand any of that? I don't believe it. That's John. <gasps> he must have used dead drops to communicate with his handlers. Um, English? It means there are probably more of those scattered around the city. You should try and find as many as you can. They might tell us where he took the ray sphere. Find John in the ray sphere, and I'm out, right? I know the deal, Cole. Just making sure. So yeah. Dead drops are basically recordings of John's findings. And they're scattered all over the city. And they are collectible items, so we're probably gonna collect a few. And he talked about a mysterious Kessler guy. Hmm, I wonder who that could be. If any of you have played this game, you all know who that is. But for those of you whose first time it is, you probably don't know. 
Anyways, till next time.